Dick Nutbot here for a quick fucking cooking shit. We got chili we're gonna fucking make. So we got our fucking beans here. We got garbanzo beans, kidney beans, motherfucking black beans cause I'm not racist, and white beans, and we got two cans, motherfucking condensed goddamn tomato soup, three jalapeno peppers, three cloves of garlic, and a big fucking onion. Pour all this fucking shit in here. And the beans. And then more fucking beans. We mix that shit up and turn this fucker on high. We're gonna have this fucker cook overnight. This is quick and easy, but let it cook for a day. Otherwise, it's not gonna taste as good. You can eat it the first night, but the second and third night's so much better. It's got that thick, rich look already. Look at that shit. We haven't even added the fucking vegetables and the beef yet, and it already looks delicious. Need a pan for this, because we're gonna saute this shit. Jalapeno peppers are not that hot if you take the seeds out of them. So just take the seeds out. Because the seeds do put heat into the pepper. Yeah. The pepper still has heat. It's not going to be but fucking But it's not heat. as bad. It's not as potent as potent of a heat. Exactly. It's just a nice, subtle, warm your mouth, Especially make your with, lips a little tingly. With the tomato soup, it evens out that spice. Still want nice chunks, though. Not too big. I'm going to take one rough chop down the mall. It's got a nice, nice jalapeno smell, but it's not too spicy. I'm going to pop that in there right now, wait for the onion and then we'll start cooking that while we get the meat going so smash this helps release it from the skin helps release juice you can already smell the garlic my hands are gonna smell like garlic for six fucking days after this boom done here we go we'll go ahead and chop these up just gonna fine chop these not really mince it because you still want a little bit of garlic when you eat it and you got a bunch of chili to mix it in with, so it's not gonna hit you if you get a little chunk of this. It's gonna blend right in. And we're also gonna be popping this in with a saute, so it's not gonna be too overpowered. It's gonna help with that jalapeno spice too. Sweet yellow onion. Just gonna chop both ends off. All right, I cut it in half. Take the core out, and you wanna take the outer layer off too, which is literally just the fucking skin. We're gonna julienne cut it. When these saute down, they'll caramelize up a little bit. And it'll give kind of like a little bit of a maple-y flavor to the chili without having to actually put any maple in it. Put butter in there, duh. You're caramelizing this shit. <laughs> butter. Fucking margarine, man. Don't use that margarine bullshit. That's not fucking butter. Gas stoves are the way to go. You want the fat, you want the flavor. Margarine does not have the same flavor as butter does. It's not the same fat. Helps everything cook down. We'll put that up on high. While that is starting, Get heat going in this other pan. You can go ahead and use whatever kind of meat you want. I am using ground turkey because I like ground turkey. Shit is delicious. Sweet, but it's not too sweet. It doesn't have that gamey flavor that beef has, and you don't really have to season it too much. I just season it because it tastes good. Right. So we get that going. We got the meat going. While this is browning, and some black pepper. You can use as much as you want, as little as you want. You even gotta use it if you don't want. That's the good thing about cooking in your own fucking home. Oh, those will start to blend together perfectly. Smell the garlic, the jalapeno, the onion. Alright, 
So along with the pepper, I'm using pure sea salt. The reason you use salt is to bring out the flavor of stuff. Use as much as you want. Who gives a shit if a doctor says it's bad for you? I don't remember the last time a fat doctor was gonna tell me how to fucking eat. And we got a little bit of garlic, granulated garlic for the meat. Not too much because we got regular garlic. Do you want to flavor your meat? See that? See the onion starting to turn yellow. Onions are starting to caramelize. Turn this down. And you're not gonna drain this when it's done. This is not beef, so the fat is different. The grease in here is different than it would be with beef. It's gonna give your chili more flavor, so leave it in there. Don't fucking drain it. If you drain that, I will find you. I will find you, and I will kill you. All right, I'm gonna take this celery salt. We're gonna pop that shit in here. Not too much. Celery salt is strong. If you wanted to get all fancy, you could pop a little bit of white wine in there. Or red wine. White wine would go a hell of a lot better, though. Then you could flambe that bitch. If you're using a gas stove, electric stoves are for pussies. Red Bull, sponsor me. Sit down now, because we don't want to burn it. Don't forget to let your food sit and cook. And just pop that right in there. Stir it up, steam it up. Should still be up on high. You can use bell peppers too. Sometimes I use green bell peppers. All right, meat, nice and brown. Go ahead and pour that in here. Yes, along with the grease. And we're gonna steer it up. Make sure it's all mixed up in there nice. Mmm, sounds like a vagina. Mix sex to that. Mix sex to that chili. Yeah. Adult entertainment at its dirtiest. We gotta let this shit cook. We will be right back with the finished product. TV, yo. As I sit back looking at my life, think about the pain, think about the strife. I look at who I used to be. Say, fuck the world, or fuck that street. My the one last thing before the number goes I'ma fuck your world right up and I'ma break your fucking nose Step up on my toes, yo, we'll see how all that goes Get fuck back, bitch, we in here, we got the clothes Yo, we hit him with the left and then we hit him with the right left right Grab your fucking lighters and hit your fucking pipe right Alright, so here we are with the finale of the chili, of course, with fucking chili What do we need? Cornbread Duh Oh god, Diane, it just came out too. Oh yeah. Oh god, what's this gonna look like? Holy camoli. Mm, oh my god, and you can smell fucking jalapenos, garlic, the onion, the pepper, all the beans. That's why you want to keep all the juices and the beans. You don't want to strain your beans. You want to keep all the all the sauce. That's where you're gonna get your get your chili from. You're not gonna put any water into this at all. This is all just just juice from these beans, from all four of these beans. So you're gonna have all these different flavors already in here marinating all together. Alright, mmm. Oh god damn, I can't wait to try this. Of course, we need a tasting buddy. We got Mr. Topher here. Topher, you want some chili, don't you, buddy? Cause with a kitty bowl, cause he's just still a little baby. You want some chili, don't you, bud? Is it chili? We're gonna let this cool off, buddy. Okay. No, oh, we gotta let that cool off, alright? All right, buddy. Are you ready for your chili? Yeah. This is yours, big guy. All right, time to try this shit. 
God damn. It's just all the beans, all the different flavors in there. The, the garbanzo beans, the kidney beans, the black beans, even the white beans, all the flavors. That's where you want to let it sit. You want to let your chili sit at least, if not at least 12 hours. At most, let it sit for like two days. Just on a low heat, very, very low heat. Keep stirring it every few hours. God damn, I need another bite of this. It keeps turning every few hours. It's turning out perfect. You can freeze this shit so you can have it for months. Make a big ass pot, store half of it in the freezer, give some of it away to your fucking friends. Shit's easy. Easy and cheap to make. And you can do it in under $20. Under $20 fucking dollars. I got these cans of beans and the soup for a dollar each. That was six dollars right there. Meat was only four bucks. Ten dollars right there. Seasonings I already had. Pretty much everybody has fucking salt and pepper in their house. That's all you really need. You don't really need the fucking peppers and all that other stuff if you don't want them i put them in here because it gives great flavor caramelized onions gives amazing flavor along with the jalapenos if you want more spice keep the seeds or at least half the seeds i take all the seeds out you still get a good i still got a little burn on my lips you can substitute whatever beans you want you don't have to stick with these beans exactly and you don't have to use meat either you can use if you don't like meat you can just use the beans use the beans and the tomato soup boom you got fucking chili Damn good chili too. Tossing the salt, pepper, the garlic powder, the onion powder. If you don't want to use actual garlic or onion. All right, dick nut butt out. I'll be back. I don't know what I'll be cooking next time, but uh, we'll be cooking some more food. I'll see you guys soon. Alright, we're recording. Shit, I'm starting to get super stoked. It's got that rich fucking hearty flavor look. God damn it, that's not usable. Yeah, we are kidding. Sure the fuck are, buddy. You're messing with my food shots. I got a really good one off the garlic going into the pepper. These ones you can actually fucking eat. Oh crap! <laughs> Why wasn't that good with anything? Now specify butter, not margarine. 